what can $200 million buy you? In terms of athletic centers, it can buy you the very best. The court, rink, pool, and track at Colby are all built with an eye on hosting NCAA championships. Colby set the new gold standard for, our, uh, for athletic centers. It's, I mean, what the opportunities this building will give us, um, you know, from a competitive standpoint, are unsurmatched in any other Division III school in the country. State of the art just begins to sum up the center. A three-level fitness facility with weight room, select rise and free weights, cardio room, erg room, a fitness room equipped for dance, a climbing wall and tennis courts in the field house. The hockey locker rooms have a mud room. So then once they're, you know, drop your street clothes, take off your shoes, you come into the actual locker room. In the competition areas, there are built-in cameras rolling so coaches can pull up video in real time. It will all add up to a major recruiting tool. It's uh, been a lot of fun going back to this summer. Uh, we were starting to, to, to welcome recruits and their families to the building uh, to see their eyes just totally widen uh, when they walk in here. Um, and, and I think, again, most importantly, it speaks to uh, the important role athletics plays uh, for Colby. This is the first Olympic-sized pool in the state. It's a Mirtha pool built with special steel plates that keep the water calm, promoting fast times. Hate wet hockey gear? The lockers have built-in ventilation, and the excess heat created in the cooling of the rink is directed to keep the pool warm. It's bound to be the envy of other schools, as one rival administrator told Pat Ratke. One athletic director actually referenced, um, she's like, you guys built Disney World for college athletics. And it was a really good way of putting it because that's essentially what we did. And after visiting it, I wondered if they were going to the SEC with Oklahoma and Texas. Right? It is right. that type of facility. It's really pretty amazing. And, you wow. know, I think people in Maine are going to have a chance to experience it as they, they do welcome, you know, different community groups playing and renting those facilities over time. For sure. And I think a bunch of hockey families watch tonight trying to figure yeah. out how they get one of those in their house. Yes, exactly. <laughs>